New food products have some American diners becoming a lot more daring when it comes to spicy foods. Well, the spice of life is nothing new in Louisiana. Here it is all about Tabasco, and it has been since the 1860s. If you've ever sprinkled Tabasco sauce on your lunch, dinner, or even breakfast favorites, this is where it comes from. Welcome to Avery Island, Louisiana. Just west of New Orleans, this wildlife refuge and historic culinary landmark is the source for the world's best known hot sauce. That is fresh Tabasco. That's fresh Tabasco. Hamilton Pulp is the mash maker for Avery Island's saucy sensation. He's the man who oversees a traditional process using mashed peppers and salt, packed in barrels, and then aged to just the right taste temperature. And that's just Tabasco mash there. I'm gonna get this scoop. It's got a smell, it's and, unbelievable. And this, this, this is what you're looking at after three years. Oh, I could eat it. Yes, and usually we get a little taste like this here, and then you taste it. That's fresh Tabasco. This batch of mash, as it's called, uses pepper varieties developed on Avery Island, but often planted elsewhere around the world, like South America, to take advantage of extended growing seasons. As the mash comes in, it's pumped into barrels where it will age for three years. It then goes to the milling process, where vinegar is added and the seeds and skins are separated. The historic method of churning and stirring in these tanks can last up to a month. And Troy, this is the finished product. It is beautiful. Where does it go from here? From here, it's going to be pumped upstairs into a staging tank, and from there, it'll be pumped down to the filler, where it'll be put in bottles. Tabasco is shipped from Avery Island to more than 160 countries all around the world, enjoyed by everyone from presidents to Europe's royal families. But this international icon began with one passionate man, one pepper seed, and a daring dream. In 1868, banker Edmund McElhenney penned the recipe for Tabasco. This is the original copy They've even preserved one of the earliest bottles of Tabasco. This one I'm actually planting. At the top of Tabasco today is Paul McElhenney, inspecting the newly planted peppers on the very land his ancestors founded the McElhenney Company. So earlier we saw the beautiful recipe, which was your great-grandfather's. Can right. you believe it ended up being all of this? No, and he would be flabbergasted. And delighted, of course, but uh, he may have planted 10, 20 acres to start with, and now with his seed crop here and then in Central and South America, we have several thousand acres of pepper. That's a lot of pepper. And a lot of bottles. This is the packing floor. This is where all the bottling is done. We've got four lines, and we're doing around 700,000 bottles a day. Wow, what is it that makes Tabasco such a worldwide success? I think people realize that it really does enhance the flavor of their food. It doesn't overpower or mask the flavor of their food. It really does something different to bring out the flavor of what they're eating. You know, I saw one of these bottles, in fact, this one, going to Japan. That's right. A combination of taste and tradition. Internationally known, magic in a bottle. What makes you proudest about being on this land? Well, it's a family property. We've owned it 190 years. It's our home, it's, uh, it's our responsibility. But probably one of the most proud things about this, this piece of land is that a lot of our employees have been here for like the nine generations that we've been here. So it's a great tradition and it all starts right here in the, in the newly planted pepper field.